Shweta was very excited about going to Veena's place. Veena was back in town for her summer vacation. Let's track her movement in an interesting way. Shweta started from her home at 3 p.m., travelled 5 kilometers, and reached Veena's place at 4 p.m. She stayed there for two hours and left Veena's home at 6 p.m. She reached her home by 7 p.m. What you have just seen is the formation of a distance time graph. We see the distance travelled by Shweta, shown by line AB, is a straight line. This shows that Shweta is travelling at a constant speed. Line BC is a straight horizontal line where we see the time is increasing, but the distance travelled by Shweta remains constant. This is because she is not in motion. Line C again is a straight line representing she coming back home at a constant speed. Imagine a situation where Shweta has to constantly change her speed because of speed bumps and traffic. The speed of Shweta here is not constant. In this case, the distance time graph formed is curved. We can easily identify the type of motion of the object by looking at its distance time graph. A straight line means an object has a constant speed. The curved line means an object does not have constant speed. A horizontal line means an object is at rest. We can also compare the speed of two objects by the distance time graph. Let's see an example. Shweta and Veena participated in a race. Shweta's speed is shown by the pink line and Veena's speed by the blue line. We see that Shweta's graph is steeper than Veena's. That means Shweta could cover more distance in less time compared to Veena. So the steeper the graph, the faster the object is moving. Distance time graphs are an interesting and important way to understand distance time and speed relationship. Through a distance time graph, we can also find out the distance traveled by the object at all the points of time throughout the journey and understand the type of motion. That's all for today. See you next time.